Hey everyone, it's Mandy and today we are in Las Vegas reviewing the Conrad Hotel and we're also going to do a few business meetings. So let's take a look around. This is Sebastian in the background, if you don't know. And we also got an upgrade, so let's check out the standard room and shift over to the suite. What do you think of the standard room? It's actually not that bad. Pretty big and spacious. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good compared to the other places in Vegas. So we have art here, mini bar, and this is actually a really spacious room. So if you are staying here on a weekday, you can get a good price under $100. All right, so let's take a look at the view. So the Conrad is inside of Resort World. So it's Hilton, Conrad, and Croxford. And here's the strip. We do have Hilton Diamond status, and that usually gets us access to the executive lounge, but it is closed right now. Correction, there is no lounge at this property. So this is a different style of property, no lounge but you just get that $25 per person per calendar day credit. So even though we're only staying one night, we have a credit that expires at midnight in two hours, and then we get another one right afterwards. Okay, it does say Conrad on it, but the other downside is this property does not have a mascot. How do we know? Because we asked, unless they don't want to give us a mascot. Okay, we're gonna go head out to dinner with some friends and we will see you later. So we ended up upgrading to the suite last night just because there was one available so we went down to the front desk and asked and they nicely gave it to us. So let's take a quick tour. So the main difference you'll see here is this living room area. So couch, two seats and a table and there is a better view of the strip here. So Encore win and these are actually all of the pools that are shared for Resort World. Conrad, Croxford, and Hilton all share these pools. There's a Sebastian. Paint me like the other girls. How do you like the sweet upgrade? I'm a fan. Here is the mini bar. So these are weight activated. If you lift it up for more than 30 seconds, it'll automatically fill your room. So we did not touch this at all. I'm guessing this was complimentary coffee, but they didn't give us any coffee cups, which was really bizarre. There's glass, which is not really good for hot liquids. And then there's an espresso. A weighted fridge here and on the other side is a personal fridge. Here is a guest bathroom in case you don't want them to enter the bedroom side. Huge walk-in closet with a vanity desk and here is the restroom. We have two sinks, a bathtub, and this is, looking at it, it doesn't really say Conrad anywhere, so I guess this is the Resort World Ducky mascot. The bottom looks like soap, and there is a plastic duck attached to it. So we are taking this little guy home. Over here is the main bathroom and shower head. This goes to the bedroom area. So I would say the bedroom area is the standard size room. This living room would be the add-on for the suite. Here is the strip again. So there is a $50 dining credit per day if you have diamond status. So let's go use that for breakfast. Slight hiccup. So apparently all the systems are down for the kitchen and the egg shop. So apparently what we have to do is go get a credit card and show them a receipt and hopefully they'll reimburse it off our bill. Good. 
Which one do you prefer, the kitchen or kitchen the Kitchen is trash. Kitchen is not good. Um, egg place is pretty good though. Egg place I would actually go back to. Kitchen. Yeah, I agree. If you're going for breakfast, I would go for the egg place unless you really want an all-you-can-eat breakfast spread. Overall, I think it is a fun property to stay at, so I would recommend it. But if you are looking for the bells and whistles that a normal Conrad has, like the executive lounge or other amenities, then this might not be the best property to stay at. Okay, let's go explore the rest of Vegas. Here, look how many cameras are rolling in all at once. Hey, there's Dave here. Good to see you all. Welcome to Pokemon Fest. So they gave us investment booklets, I guess, to help us get familiar with Pokemon. Where we came from, where we are now, and the trends behind everything. It's actually pretty good. Pretty presentation. Good yeah. That's my memo. <laughs> it is. It's to help you make educated decision. Can you count it? Let me know. Is that a Kevin just lost a lot of money. Your boy Kevin just lost lots of money. I respect that. Well, I respect that. That's good. That's all right, my friend. What's the final count, Seb? Should be 1595. Okay, so the final hotel we stayed at is at the Croxford, which is back at Resorts World. And I'm glad we saved the best for last because I'm actually really impressed with their product. Okay, let's do a quick room tour. Great, so right when you walk in, there is a mini bar and this is the paid section. This is the complimentary section. We did go through a few of the pods already. So one of the few properties which actually has complimentary tea and coffee. Here's the bedroom area. So pretty standard size bed. There is a lounge area as well to get some work done. One of the really cute things is if you stay here, they do give you a souvenir key to keep. The key cards are actually a lot smaller than the standard size. So let me compare this to my phone. So it's like mini key cards. I also really like the high ceiling. So here is a Sebastian for comparison. He's usually around six feet tall and he can't even jump and touch the ceiling. The drapes and shears are automatic, so just push a button here. And here is a view of the strip. Encore, Wynn, and Palazzo. And down here are the swimming pools. This little fruit powder <coughs> is left over from the breakfast spread, so during the hours of 6 to 11 a.m., you can go downstairs and get free coffee, fruits, and some pastries. Here's the bathroom area. So very similar to the Conrad, it even has the same amenities. One difference here is that they do provide you with dental kits so you don't have to go bug someone for it. Manicure kit and cotton pads. The Croxfords also have a private elevator so you don't have to get mixed in with the Hilton and Conrad properties. Croxford elevator, Conrad side. So especially if you're checking out in the morning or going down to breakfast, there's less stops because there's less floors. We're also really high up, so our room is located on the 65th floor and you can see the Resorts World sign right there. So our room is one of the smallest rooms on the floor. Everything else looks like a pretty big suite. So if you do want a larger room, I guess, ask for an upgrade, but none were available when we booked it. So if I had to choose between booking the Conrad or Croxfords, I would definitely choose Croxford if it was at a reasonable price point or something comparable, just because the overall hard product is really good and the service is great as well. So the staff actually seems to enjoy talking to you here and they're willing to provide excellent service. Which one do you pick, Seb? Croxford. Croxford? Yeah, Conrad doesn't even have bears for you. <laughs> All right, cool. See you in the next one.